Uh, we learned a lot. Some really good stuff in here. Uh, one that I actually uh, forgot forgot to tell you about um, is the not equal to. So we'll do it right now. Okay. Not equal to, of course, we want to do the type checking as well. So we want to say that. So not equal to is the opposite of equal to. So, you know, if val1 is not equal to val2, then we would say, you know, these are not the same, right? Uh, one of these is like the other, okay? So not equal to. So if, if 23 is not equal to uh, val2, which are not because this is a, a float and this is a string. So let's refresh it here. These are not the same, okay? So not equal to, same as equal to, except the opposite. So not equal to. Mind blown, right? Easy stuff. Easy peasy. Okay, let's talk about logical operators. They go hand in hand with the conditional operators here. Uh, they just look a little bit different. So let's comment all this good stuff out. Ooh, double, co double comment, it's cool. Let's go down here. And what is a logical operator? So if this condition is true and this condition is true, oh, so you can have multiple conditions inside of a single if statement. So remember how before we had an if and in the parentheses, you know, you'd say if one equals one, then do something else. So now we can have multiple conditions in here. So we can say if one equals one and if one or if two equals two, then we can do something. Is this going to be true? Well, if one equals one, this is going to turn into true. Okay. And then it's going to do this one separately. So if two equals two, this is going to be true as well. So if true and true, then do something. So console.log, these are both true. Let's see what happens. These are both true. Okay. Here's something interesting. I could also have said if true and true. Because what actually happens here is these, these will um, return a true or false Boolean value. So it's the exact same thing as here. So if true and true, console.log, these are the same. Okay. And if I refresh the page, these are the same. That's interesting. True and true. What if I said, but if true and false, okay, if, if this is true and false, well, false is not equal to true. Let's see what happens. It doesn't print out, right? Because this is going to false. Because true is not equal to false. But true is equal to true. Now, this is a little convoluted and silly, right? If one equals one and if two equals two, blah, 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 blah. You know, you get the point. Uh, but I do want to show you one more thing, a couple more things while we're using this unrealistic scenario here, okay, is the OR operator. That's the double pipes usually underneath your backspace key. Okay, the or operator. So if one equals one and two equals two, or, okay, or if Joe is equal to Joe. Oh, interesting. So if one is equal to one and two is equal to two, or if Joe is equal to Joe, well, this is so what it's saying is everything on this side. If one of these is true, or if one of these is true, then print out what's right here. So let's do a better example of it not working in one case, but working in another case. So let's say if one equals three, that's false, right? I think it's false, it's false, okay? If one equals three, or if Joe equals Joe. So this is interesting. So one is not equal to three, so this is gonna be false. now. If this was the ampersand, the double, the double and sign here, the double ampersand, that's that's what and stands for. So if one equals three, and if Joe equals Joe, well, this is false and this is true. So this whole thing is false because true is not equal to false, and it can get a little bit crazy, like understanding true and false. What's going on here? It just takes some time. Uh, so if one equals three, so this would be false. It would never run. But if we use the or, only one side of the double pipes here, only one side of it has to be true. Okay, so console.log, one of these are true. Let's run it and see. Okay, one of these are true. All right, so the or lets you have a second condition, but one or the other, which makes sense, okay? Uh, so let's put it into more of a practical application here. So 
uh, let's let's talk about cats. Everyone loves cats, right? And we've got this cool new, you know, Facebook app we built. That's like a cat rater, and you can rate how cute the cats are, you know. So, um, you know, var cat one, uh, you know, is equal to let's say let's give it scores actually. Like people rated the cats, right? So cat one, someone gave it a five. Var cat two equals a 10 okay var cat three equals a one that's like one of those ugly cats that's like just it was just born that way and like you don't really even want to touch it but you know it's like well i gotta like animals because it's not cool to not like animals and you know but they got a one that's what people really feel about it okay so um this app that we have it only shows okay it only shows the the best cats okay in the rankings right so what we can do is we can say if cat one, okay, is greater than cat two, okay, or if cat one is greater than cat three, then console dot log, you know, cat cat one is the cutest, okay? Yay! Cool, huh? All right, then we could do another one. So we could say else if, okay, cat two is greater than cat one, or if cat two is greater than cat three, okay, console.log cat two is the cutest, okay? And then, uh, you know, we could just do an else, but you know, we could have more, more cats, so let's do an else if. Else if cat three is greater than cat one, or if cat three is greater than cat two, you know, console.log cat three is the cutest, okay? Let's see what happens. We'll just use a bunch of or statements here. Okay, cat one is the cutest. Well, um, oh, if cat two, if cat one is greater than cat two, hold on here. We done broke something here. If cat one is greater than cat two, or if cat one is greater than cat three, cat one is greater. Oh, this is wrong. This should be double and signs, not ors. Silly me. It needs to be greater than both. Our logic is flawed. Uh, that's actually a good, a very good example of of how you can actually break an entire program. One little change like that can mess everything up. Um, and we'll leave this in here because. It's important to know that the little things you do in the code make all the difference, especially when it comes to uh, logical operators uh, and uh, conditional operators. If you put the less sign instead of the greater than sign, it changes your entire program. Uh, and we make mistakes like this all the time. Uh, e even the top programmers, you know, over uh, at Apple and uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, they'll scour their code for little mistakes like these. So it's important to un it's important to understand that you can make those mistakes uh, and it can cause a lot of damage. So let's refresh it now. Cat 2 is the cutest. That makes more sense. He's, you know, 10. Now, hold on, though. Hold the phone, okay? You know, if, uh, let's have a handicap. So, let's say the cat, though, is, like, disabled, okay? It's, like, missing a, missing a foot or something, right? It's, like, really sad. And so, you don't want to give it a bad score because that's just not nice, right? So, uh, we're going to give it a disabled handicap, Okay, you know, this cat's limping, you know, it's got three legs, it was born that way, no, nobody beat it, you know, it was just born that way. And uh, so, disabled handicap, it just gets 20 points, okay? Well, cat three happens to have a disabled handicap. So, uh, if cat three is greater than cat one, and cat three is greater than cat two, or, okay, um, actually this can just be, a, this can just be a Boolean, more so like that, or, if um, disabled handicap is true, okay. So let's take a look at this here. If cat one's greater than cat that or cat, cat three is greater than cat one and cat three is greater than cat two, or it has a disabled handicap, then it's going to be the cutest, right? So it doesn't matter if it's a one. If it's missing a leg, it obviously is going to win. That's just how it works. Um, but I don't think this code is going to work as we would expect it to work. So let's. Um, Let's take a look here and see. It's still saying cat two is the cutest, which is really interesting, right? Because cat two is a 10 here. Oh, so what we're gonna have to do, 
okay, is we're gonna have to rewrite our logic to consider the um, the disabled handicap on cat three, okay? So again, this is just this is just fun convoluted code here, but you're starting to see the examples of how the logic works, right? So if cat one is greater than cat two and cat one is greater than cat three, and uh, if uh, disabled handicap, let's say, and not disabled handicap. Okay, so what we're saying here is, let's and let's actually call this cat three disabled handicap. Okay, that makes more sense, right? This only applies to cat three. He's got it. Okay, and maybe all the cats could, but we're only checking it on cat three. So if cat one is greater than cat two, and if cat one is greater than cat three, and if cat three disabled handicap is false. Okay, meaning if there's no handicap on the cat three, okay, uh, then cat one is the cutest. Okay, of course we know that's not going to be called because uh, cat one is not greater than cat two, so that's already false. Okay, so now here's the moment of truth. If cat two is greater than cat one, so if ten is greater than five, which is true, and if cat two is greater than cat three, so ten is definitely greater than one. Okay, but then we say and, all right, so and cat three dis and not cat three disabled so we're saying the opposite right so if the third cat is disabled so if it's not disabled so if it's better than these two and if the third cat's not disabled then this is true let's see what actually happens here so cat three is the cutest oh that's really interesting so because we checked for this handicap here um it uh it just moved on past so let's say if cat three disabled handicap was false now. Cat three is no longer limping. Uh, okay, I'm gonna refresh the page. Okay, cat two is now the cutest again. Do you see what's happening here? Okay, based on logic, uh, our code is making decisions. And this is a little bit long. What I would probably do is uh, like some order of operations. You know, I would check this first, you know, and then let that run there. Uh, something like that probably. Same thing with this. Just to clean it up a little bit, make it look, make it more sense. Cat three is greater than cat one, and cat three is greater than cat two. Or if cat three is, uh, you know, disabled, and let's run it here. Okay, it's looking good. So what have we done here? We've talked about uh, logical operators. This is, that's the ability to run, to test against multiple conditions inside of an if statement. Okay, and uh, so we've got the and, which means both sides have to be true. The or means one or the other can be true. We also put a little exclamation point here, which you haven't seen before. Okay, that means not. So cat three disabled handicap. So if it's not true, so meaning if it's false, or we could have actually just said, if cat three disabled handicap is equal to false, that's the exact same thing. But you know why, right? All these extra characters when we can put a, a uh, exclamation point there. And uh, this is looking good. So you've learned how to make decisions. And uh, you're going to use these a lot. You're going you're gonna to make this all kinds of decisions. And yeah, you know, if you have an infinite amount of cats, you know, you're probably not going to have a case here where you're going through every single cat. We'll probably use some type of loop or a more elegant way of going through this. But you're really starting to learn how to compare things and make decisions in your code. And what I want you to do is think about all the programs out there that you're using. Okay, this is, this is your mental exercise. We're about to end. You're going to stop the video, and I want you to think about the programs. Think of the last app you used on your iPhone, your Android phone, or website. Think of the last app that you used and what happened on that app, okay? Um, the last app that I used was actually uh, a game. It was Clash Royale, okay? So perfect example. In Clash Royale, um, what did I do? I clicked, I started a game, okay? And then in the game, oh, here's a perfect example. You've got these little bars of life, el elixir. And so um, they have code in there that if you don't have enough elixir to place a card, okay, that card is grayed out. And so here's a perfect example. If, if current card elixir cost, okay, is greater than or equal to current elixir, make the card colorful. Else, okay, make the card not colorful. And there could be other conditions in there as well too. So what I want you to do is uh, think of the last app that you use where they might be using some of these uh, comparison operators and where they might be using uh, some of these uh, logical operators as well too. Think, try writing it down too on a piece of paper and uh, it'll help your brain to start recognizing that apps aren't magical, that people wrote code and that they actually do things and it's this code right here that gets you there. So, cool stuff. 
do that mental exercise, right? Well, it's writing a piece of paper, it's not mental, but just do it, please. And that's it for now. Mark Price at devslopes.com. See you soon. We'll